the guys have responded after after Saturday and the loss? I mean, you know, obviously you hope they're disappointed. Um, you know, coaches, fans, I always said this to you in the past, coaches, fans, they get a lot harder than the players. They seem to respond better. But we have to have a little more sense of urgency, and that's been our emphasis, especially in gut check parts of games and, you know, making the little plays, the, whether it's, you know, securing the ball, boxing out, um, you know, defending, whatever it might be, executing. Uh, those are the things that have to improve. And, you know, we're – you know, you, we're close. We're close on a lot of games. Um, we we knew we had a, a new team. We have a mixture, new, young team, different roles, and, and probably it's been a little harder for some of them than they ever anticipated. And, you know, now we got to see if we can take a step forward. Uh, a lot of things can happen. I, I've talked about the Washington Nationals to them. I've talked about the St. Louis Blues to them. I mean, you know, you know, Nationals it was the worst record, right? Blues were in last place, and they won. You know, won their the World Series and won the Stanley Cup. So a lot of things can happen, but it's got you know little things got to change. And and you know, I think we've made some progress over the last few weeks, but it hasn't been enough to get over the hump to uh, you know to win the games that you know we want to win. Mississippi State was a really talented team, uh, very gifted. You know, we for thirty. If you really study, we do the four-minute wars. We won, won six out of the, the eight or whatever it was um, wars. And but the other two, the end of the half and the end of the game, we did not. They dominated those stretches, and that's probably you know when you look at it, it's a difference in the game. Now you got a different um, animal in in St. Louis. Very very physical, good, really good offensive rebounding team, and you know that's something we're going to have to. You know, it's something we haven't been. Great at that securing the ball, boxing out, being physical, um, and it's and it, we got to have some guys step up and 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 you know if we're going to make progress and get a win on Saturday, it will not be an easy game. Is Montavious in the picture? This he's week? yeah, he's practicing, and um, you know I told you guys before we just couldn't push it. He's a freshman. Luke was just so afraid. We brought those other two guys back, and, and they got hurt within days, and we tried to. Be patient with Montavious, and he's a little cautious. He's, you could see that first day, just running up and down. He was going in for a layup. He lands. He's worried about it, you know. Just so I think slowly but surely, you know. Today he was in most of the time. Um, we're trying not to do a lot of reps like the the workout stuff, where he gets that constant pounding, and you know you, you hope to build to that. But uh, you know I would anticipate he would, you know, be part of it on Saturday. I don't know how long, you know that. Uh, you know, we'll just have to see. How how has that limited you? Not only not having him, but just having three or four roster spots that. Well, it's hard. It's hard in practice. It's hard in, you know, thank goodness I've said, you know, the Coach Korn, you know, he loves to play and he stayed in shape. He gets to play a lot. You know, it's just, um, you know, it, 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 guys like that have been able to help us. Pearson is, is uh, I don't think. People appreciate Pearson. One week he's a forward, the next week he's a guard, depending who's here or who's not. Uh, that makes it difficult. But for the game, you know, you know, Monte was one of our more consistent guys. And then you look at plus minus, he was pretty pretty good as far as he knew what was going on. It's you know, you hope in the long run it's going to help Antonio because he's been forced to do some things. He gets nine rebounds the other night against a high level team. You know, we you know he's guarding Reggie Perry, one of the best players in the country. Does a pretty good good job but you know should he be in there 30 minutes you know that's the the question or 27 28 whatever it is you know and that's where Montavious could have probably helped us a little bit and yeah you know maybe that could make a difference we'll see I uh, will you know but we had to we had to live with it injuries are part of it we're not the only team in the country you see it on the ticker almost every day somebody goes down I think I had read that you kind of would have liked to play maybe David Sloan more in that past game. I think what, so. what did he do well in that game? Well, I, I think some, you know, one, he distributes, so that helps us. The, the thing he doesn't do, and I've said since he got here, he's got to guard, and he's got he's got to make a commitment to defending, and maybe, but at the same time, as a staff, we got to make a decision. We got to give him a little leeway, but you get to the end of the game, and it's gut check, and he's, and he, you know, he's not defending at a high level. You're not going to win those games, so he. He, he, you know, and some of that's luck with the plus minus. You know, it, it, Kellis was the one who asked it. He said, look at the plus minus. Well, it's pretty obvious he's plus 11. You know, uh, 
doesn't take a brain surgeon, but is he in there in the first half when we make the run? You know, he gets in in the second half and he struggles and, and they're making a run. So, uh, you know, it's always hindsight. You're always looking for stuff. Do you stick Dejuan? He struggled in the first half. Do you stick him in second half? Maybe it helps Xavier. Maybe he doesn't play as many minutes. You know, all that stuff. And that's something we're trying to figure out and learn. We need, and I've said it since the beginning, consistency, efficiency, and dependability. If we get that from some guys, it's going to help everyone. It's really going to help our coaches because then we'll know what to do. And we know what we get every day. And if you don't know what you're getting every day, it's now you got you, you know you got to coach your butt off and hope every move you make. You know if you got to coach every possession, it's hard. And right now, a lot of that, especially in these tight games, we are doing it. Sometimes, you know, players make plays, and and that that makes it a lot easier on coaches. Could you foresee a scenario where David maybe started slide cards yeah. into? Yeah, I, I don't. You know, if things don't progress, I mean, yeah, I don't think there's any doubt. But but who's our most consistent player right now? Mike my girl. Look at his stats: forty-six from the field, forty-something. You know, it's just turnover positive. You know, he and he's our best defender, maybe right now. So you know, where so who do you move out? You know, but and 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 I, you know, Mike. Does, I think Mike has done what Monte did. Less is more. You know, he just does what he can do, and he's really solid at it. And and that, but you know, in the game, a couple. I even called a couple sets. We got to get it to Mike. You know, we got because he's the only one making shots. So you know, we got to think about how we can get him some open looks too. Um, but I, you know, I'm happy for him because he's, you know, he started really dismal, and uh, you know, he's gotten in the gym, he's worked at it, he's figured out what his niche is, and he's doing a good job. So again, can we get some other guys consistent and efficient like that? Might help. What do you really feel like jump started Mike? I think the gym. I, I don't think he wants it. You know, he it really bothered him. Um, you know, again, figuring out what you are, figuring out a role. One of the, you know, you know, I talked about those words: consistency, efficiency, dependability. But one of the things was figuring out roles, and he he he's figured out his role pretty quick. And we, you know, and obviously we haven't even mentioned the big guys. You know, they got to finish, and you know, just can't. Look at Marquette. What two for fourteen in the lane? We're you know last game. We're those guys are one for whatever, twelve whatever. You know they got, they got to finish. They got to make some baskets and um, you know hope hope that happens on Saturday. We'll deal with a very very physical team. Gooden is a you know was a high level football guy. Very physical. Kind of plays old school. Kind of an old school. I don't even know what you call them. Old school three one one three. Plays points at time, you know, and he's a power forward at times. So, you know, we're going to have to deal with his physicality. French has had 24 rebounds, I believe, in one of the games. Uh, you know, you got two guys I think that have had 20 rebounds in a game, and you know, as a team, we we only get 30, 32. So that that's pretty impressive. Um, they don't, you know, so we're going to have to really, you know, be ready for that physicality. Um, and they got some size. I mean, they played. If you watch the, their Auburn game, that's as physical a game as I've I've maybe ever seen. That thing was just a war, and uh, they did not back up, back down. And so you got to anticipate. They made some strides. They they they're a new team too. NCAA team. They were in our same uh, location last year. Um, you know, Travis has done a nice job and uh, kind of piecing some things together. Got a couple of vets back, but they kind of figuring out some of the other guys. With David defensively right now, how much of it is just him not knowing? It's a little bit of combo and taking pride in it. Not, you know, it's 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 your habits, especially you know if you've done something your whole life. Now you, it's hard to change, and uh, you know it just could be a simple thing like you know changing your eating habits. It's hard uh, drinking a coke, whatever, smoking, whatever. Those are hard habits to change. <laughs> And, and it just doesn't happen overnight. And, you know, every day we're on them, compete. David, we need you. I, I told them first week of practice, I want to play you. We need to play you, but you've got to guard. And, and it's not like this is like a revelation that I just came up with. I mean, this is something we've – now, again, he just he, – he didn't practice all summer because of his injury. So that, you know, it, it sets you back a little bit. So, you know, you hope one day – the light will come on. Uh, with Cardi, you had a he had a big scoring game. 
Yes, no, Nen Zero says, yeah, but he had he delivered some things to the big guys and they didn't finish. So some of that's, you know, he probably would have had three or four. I, obviously, I'd like a good mixture, you know, and, and yeah, every team guards differently. Um, you know, and I mentioned to you before, he came to me after Florida. He goes, Coach, every time I drive, they all come. Well, yeah, you're the number one guy in the scouting report. Before, you were number six or seven. So now they're coming to you. Now I'd make the right pass. That's why he's going to assist. Now, Mississippi State, they're big and they're going to go block shots. So they didn't help in as much. You know, they just, you know, kind of uh, went and contested him. And, you know, he made, made a couple threes, finally made, you know, some free throws, you know, got, got to the line. Um, obviously, we, you know, free throws probably could have. And it was 75 last time, and we got to the line 30 some. But if you hit 80, you win the game. So it's just, uh, you know, hopefully make some continue to make progress with that. But Ken, I'm, I guess I'm asking, is there a balance, or as long as he get, produces the points? Well, I mean, yeah, efficient. Yeah. I want efficiency. Yeah. You know, we got to have efficiency. Whether, you know, if you're shooting 50 percent and 40 from three and you know, 75 or higher from the line, you're efficient. And that, and then a positive assist turnover. You know, the, obviously I'm asking for a really, really good player, but, you know, that's what, you know, we, we, we believe he can be and he's got to, you know, but it's, I think it's just, like I said before, I think it's been a little harder than they all anticipated to step into the, the spotlight. And, you know, so it, you know, it, the crazy thing, you know, Cardi has made, big plays you know freshman year Kansas starting he made a whole lot of big baskets down the stretch at the Allen Field that's one of the toughest plays to play you know but I think there there was no pressure because he was just no one expected it but now people expect it so dealing with expectations is not easy you mentioned the big guys what do you feel like holding them back right now Mac well just the big guys in general yeah I mean you know it just you know they they gotta they gotta play stronger they gotta finish I, I don't you know, I wish I wish I had some answers. I think they got to work to get uh, angles earlier. Um, you know, but there are some. I mean, at the end of the game, we drove. Cardi drove through to him. You know, make make the shot. Reggie Perry's got four fouls. He's not going to foul the dude. And we go up. You know, soft. And so, um, I don't. I you know, I hope the light switch is on. I know that it would be nice. Is this, is this your favorite time of uh, the non-conference season when after finals get over? Yeah, I, I mean, they, like today we had to, we went at 7.15 on Monday. We went uh, yesterday. We went at, I think it was at 10. This morning we went at 9. You know, you got guys are running out. They're, they got finals at noon. Um, you know, so you're trying to get as much as you can out of them. Um, you know, but we get through this. Then, you know, they, they come back and we have a good three weeks where we can – you know we've made strides in the past because we've they've made a commitment to it. They've come in the gym. They, we've a lot of film work, a lot of shooting work, um, and you hope you can make some of those strides. You know, but we'll we'll have to wait and see. But I, you know, and they love it because they don't have class. You know, we always say this: this is their time to be an NBA player. And, you know, they. But then it's maturity not to stay up late, and play video games till two, three in the morning, and you know all that stuff. Staying. You know, time time management, discipline, all that to to make sure you're focused on the right things. The, the freshmen are a big part of this team. Yes. Uh, do you believe in the freshman wall type of thing, or do you think it's just? Ah, you know, I don't know if days one. You know, that it, it, he had a horrible practice in New York last week. Sometimes they all are horrible when you travel like we did and got in late and you've got finals coming up. You know, maybe you know I, and and he. He actually texted us all last night. Said, "I apologize. I haven't been played well the last last four or five days, and I need to step it up." You know, so you, he cares. He sat with Coach Corn yesterday for I bet an hour at the end of the day. Just he wants to do well. He cares. Uh, Antonio plays his butt off. You know, I, are we? You know, you're, the more minutes you play, the more your weaknesses show up too. You know, so it and and. You know, and that's what I'm trying to get to him. You know, make a commitment. He to get nine rebounds in a high-level game like that. Now, grab the ball, secure it. Don't travel. Don't dribble. You know, and that's 
you know, we, he had to learn from that. Hopefully next time he... Thing, but is it more on ball or help, or is it just kind of across the board? I think across the board. <laughs> he's just, you know, he's just got to take it, take a little pride in it. And he, we, you know, there's guys that have never been great, but they take pride and they have good habits. And he, you know, he missed the whole summer of habits, which we're trying to do now. And then now you get into games and now you're getting schemes and now you're going to guard things. So you don't get as much time to work on habits. So it's, it's kind of a combination of everything, but, uh, you know, we, we got to, you know, you, you got to see where we can go with him, and then see if he can make some progress. But we, you know, we need his his play. We need somebody else play make beside Cardi, and that whether you're creating for others or you're creating for yourself, um, it, it would help us as coaches. It would help our team.